Join us for this week's On the Conservation Front as we dive deeper into critical water issues facing the state. Florida Sportsman has been leading the fight on the conservation front lines for over 50 years. Apalachicola Bay is suffering from decreased freshwater flow from inland rivers. Let's join Apalachicola Riverkeeper George Ackerman on the status of this vital estuary. George, as Apalachicola Riverkeeper, what's the boundaries of your responsibility? Just the river and the bay, or do you take in more of the northwest coastline as well? As Apalachicola Riverkeeper, we're charged with monitoring the Apalachicola River and bay. We're concerned with the region. We do pay attention to what's going on in the entire Gulf, and we also stay in close contact with other river and water keepers across the state to work on collaborative policy issues and advocacy work. You know, when folks hear Apalachicola Bay, they think oysters. This is a super biodiverse hotspot. What's the number one threat to this estuary? Declining freshwater flows into the bay have significantly hurt the Apalachicola Bay, and the oysters are indicator species, so that's how we knew things were not going well when we started losing oysters. The state of Florida is suing the state of Georgia and trying to remedy that situation. That Supreme Court case is still in play right now. Hopefully we'll get a really positive ruling within the next six months to a year, and we will see that freshwater flows can be restored to this really important connected river system. Without the floodplain, being flooded with excessive flows when you need them in wet season, you don't get the nutrients, the leaf fall, the leaf litter. Is that the crux of the problem? The floodplain has been drying up over the years. It doesn't get the water flow, the sloughs and creeks get cut off. If that water doesn't move out of the river and push off, it kind of will scrub the floodplain and bring that water back into the river and down to the bay. So yes, with the declining freshwater flows, we've seen changes in our floodplain. The Again, the river brings that healthy nutrients into the bay, and that's what we need for the sustainability of Apalachicola Bay. In 2015, former Representative Gwen Graham filed the Apalachicola Bay Restoration Act to essentially make the core send more water downstream. Uh, where does that stand today? Regrettably, that legislation didn't make it out of committee. It's good, solid legislation that we would certainly welcome, we being Apalachicola Riverkeeper and people of the region. The Army Corps engineers built a series of dams on the Chattahoochee River decades ago, essentially starving this bay of fresh water. Have they come up with a plan to reverse it or a real fix? The Army Corps of Engineers is in charge of the federal reservoirs that do sit on the Chattahoochee River, and so they control the water flow that makes it down the river and into this bay. Congress is in charge of the Army Corps of Engineers, so Congress tells them what to do. So the type of change that we need here to fix the water control manual that the Army Corps uses to dictate how much water they're going to send through the system, so to speak. It will take a change at the federal level to, to get that happen. We always provide waterman viewers a call to action. What would you suggest to anglers, boaters, outdoorsmen in general, a way to help you help this estuary recover? There are two things that I think everyone can do. The first is stay informed, and the second is to vote. If we're going to protect water in Florida, we need to know what the issues are and we need to support leaders that are going to work with us to ensure that my kids and your kids and everybody's children can be guaranteed healthy, fresh, clean, drinkable, swimmable water for the long term.